call the Monday, June 7th uh, Board of Select meeting to order. Um, I will do a roll call vote here. So we'll start with Darcy. Darcy Dale here. Uh, Jamie. Jamie Knudsen here. Uh, Bill Olson is here and Sean Farrell will not be joined tonight. And hopefully uh, when Rosemary joins, we will, uh, we will take her attendance then. I just, so we have uh, one thing I, on the agenda. Sorry, go ahead, Darcy. I was just going to say, I just emailed her. So hopefully she'll pop she, in. She's having trouble with the Zoom link. Um, she wants me to resend it. So if you can bear with me a second, I will um, find it and send it to her again. All right, so I will. So we have one thing on the agenda tonight. That's to consider and take public testimony on the proposed cable license renewal between the town of Hamilton and Verizon. And I have a um, opening statement to read tonight. So Joe, I'm going to go ahead and read that. Well, well, <clears throat> uh, good evening. No, I, I can do that. Okay. All right. Uh, good evening. Welcome to town of Hamilton's public hearing on Verizon's cable license renewal. I am. Uh, William Olson, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, which is a cable license issuing authority under Mass General Law Chapter 166A. With me tonight are other select, um, other select board members, uh, being Darcy Dale, Rosemary Kennedy, and Jamie Knudsen, as well as the town's cable council, Bill August. I understand Verizon Representative Paul Train is in attendance this evening. I'm looking for Paul Train here. I am here. Uh, and we welcome Paul and any other representatives of Verizon. Notes of this hearing was in the local newspapers two successive weeks. Copies of the legal advertisements are here entered into the record as ascertainment hearing exhibits one and two. By way of background for the public, state law requires the holding of a public hearing prior to final action on a proposed renewal license, which shall include opportunities for the public comment on town needs and the proposed renewal license. Based on information before us this evening and based on prior public testimony and a prior public hearing, the board selectmen may take final action on the renewal proposal before us for possible execution this evening. <laughs> Any public comments as well as questions to Verizon should be directed through me and I'll rule whether they are in order. Please keep your comments no longer than four minutes. Before hearing from the public, let's first introduce Verizon's representatives, Paul Train, here tonight for some introductory comments, and then we will accept comments. Or we'll, we'll discuss among ourselves as a board, and then we'll take comments from the public. So uh, let's get started here. So, um, Paul, if you want to take the floor and talk about what our goals are for this evening. Great. My name is Paul Train, T R A N E, from Kirby Harrington Pinkett, which services outside council of the Verizon New England. Uh, I've been working closely with uh, the town's council, Bill August, for a number of months to try to reach an agreement. Happy to report that we have reached an agreement for your consideration. It's a five-year agreement uh, that requires Verizon to continue to provide cable service uh, to all town residents, substitute, substitute certain exceptions in section 3.1. Uh, requires Verizon to continue to pay access support funding of 5%, which is the maximum allowed under federal law, and requires Verizon to pay uh, community PEG grant of $21,600 over the first two years. Um, also has various provisions for, to ensure performance, including a performance bond, uh, some insurance requirements. Uh, and um, <clears throat> again, the biggest thing is allows Verizon to keep providing service to town residents for another five years. And again, I wanna thank uh, Bill August for all his cooperation and uh, time over the last few months. Thanks. So, Joe, we've discussed as a board um, public hearings prior to the process. Any other discussion, Joe, that we need to have tonight on this? I, I, I did think it, as a board. Well, it might be helpful to hear from Bill Melville, um, who was the uh, uh, executive director um, at the uh, HW Cam. I know that the, this license affects him. I think he has some uh, some statement to make. Okay. Um, Thanks for the, uh, the invite. Um, and I just want to talk about a couple of things. Um, this will be my third cable license. Uh, 
you know, uh, dealing with HWCAM. Um, and I'd first off like to uh, thank um, the Selectmen and Bill August and also the Verizon rep. Um, there's a lot to say about it. I'm actually um, very happy um, with where we are with this. Um, like any kind of negotiations, there's some back and forth, uh, but it wasn't uh, so painful, at least through my eyes. Um, and as um, the Verizon rep uh, said that basically we're getting the uh, legal limit, the highest we can get is 5% GAR, which is a gross year and annual revenue from Verizon, which is great. Um, and we also have uh, a pretty decent uh, capital grant, which is really important because um, the way the landscape has changed, and um, I know I've been working with Joe, it's a sidebar, but um, post-pandemic meetings uh, require different types of technology and that technology costs money. So um, we actually got uh, more capital grant than we did with the, uh, the Comcast license that we're, we're currently on. So we got about 18% more than Comcast gave us. Uh, the other thing about this is uh, what Verizon is offering, is, which is great. Um, and if people don't know, everything we record is in HD. The problem is uh, we can't broadcast in HD unless you're watching YouTube and streaming on YouTube. Uh, what this license will give us is a technically a fourth channel and that fourth channel will be in high definition. So uh, when you turn on your HD TV and you go through the, the, the channels, you're not looking at a, a, uh, just a digital signal that's in standard def, you're looking in a high definition uh, channel, which puts us on par with, with a lot of the commercial networks. The, you know, I hate to, you know, we make a huge investment in, in all this HD equipment and we can't send it out HD. So I think that's a really good step um, in the right direction. And hopefully, uh, eventually at some point we can get, uh, the other, a couple other channels on HD too, but I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. Um, like I said, the legal limit of 5%, um, we, we got more capital than, um, initially was asked for, um, and the HD, HD channel, which I think is, uh, is, is really a good thing. Uh, the other thing, um, that was in there, let's see the capital grant. Oh, the capital is over the first two years. It's a five-year license. So instead of um, paying over the five years, we're paid pretty much the first couple of years of license, which is great. So, you know, knowing that um, they're locked into that, you'd hate to all of a sudden on the fifth year of the license, you know, something changes and we don't get that capital money. But I'm, I'm happy overall. I know I've been working closely with, uh, with attorney August on this. Um, and if anyone has any questions about it, I'm more, more than happy to uh, answer that. Okay, thank you. So Joe, um, so we need to make a motion that we can have a discussion, but, but I, I'm looking at the- well, I, 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 I mean, it, it's, a, it's a little bit pro forma, but I think you should also just call and make sure that there's nobody I mean, we can see from the Zoom link, there doesn't appear to be any members of the public here, but I think um, uh, for formality's sake, we should see if there is anybody that wants, any member of the public that wants to make a comment either for or against uh, the, the cable license. Maybe give them an opportunity, see if anybody says anything. I know, as I said, I can see the whole screen. There's no members of the public here, but we, ha we have to at least follow the, that formality. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know if we wanted to make a motion first, but I will ask now, is, the, is there any public comments Speak up, please, and we will, we will uh, recognize you. Shall I make a motion? Yes, that, please, Darcy. That we yep. accept the Verizon contract as written. Joe, that suffice, that language suffice? Yeah, Bill, that, that's satisfactory, right? As, as presented here tonight, yeah, Bill August. Can I get a second? Uh, you're on mute, Bill. Uh, Bill, uh, William August is on mute, so hold on, that's when he wanted to make a comment. Oh, Mr. August, you're on mute. I, I a friendly amendment to just say to accept and approve. Okay, I'm going to amend my motion to accept and approve the, co the uh, Verizon contract as written. 
Do I have a, a second? second? Rosie, yep. Rosie seconds that, so we'll do a roll call vote. So start with you, Darcy. Darcy Dale, aye. Uh, Rosie. Rosie Kennedy, aye. Jamie. Jamie Knudsen, aye. And William Olson, aye. And Sean Farrell is not in attendance tonight. So we're good for so five Joe, years. <laughs> So Joe, does this need to be assigned uh, at Town Hall? Yep, I have three copies of the contract here ready to be executed by you. And um, when that's done, we will send it on to uh, be completed. Thank you. Will, will everyone okay. need to sign Great. or just Bill? Yeah, quick, quick question. No, everybody would need to sign. I, I know um, that everybody that voted needs to sign. I have to check and see if Sean is able to sign because, but he's a member of the board and the board approved it. So he, could, he should be able to sign. I'll, uh, I'll confirm that though. Yeah, I think if you're a no vote, you can still sign, but um, yeah. as long as it was approved by the board. Right. <clears throat> okay, so uh, is there anything else we need to discuss in this hearing? I just want to get in my thank yous too. Uh, it, it, you know, there were like 101 little changes along the way and uh, the town manager um, was always, no matter what was going on, uh, able to find time uh, and be responsive and um, because everything I do is subject to the town's approval. I just work at the pleasure of the town. So I, I check in with the, the, the town on it, on everything. And uh, so Joe was incredibly responsive and same thing with um, Bill Melville and, and Paul train. We needed technical information about some of the access studio needs and uh, technology and equipment needs for five years out. And Bill generated a lot of very detailed information, which makes our negotiations very factual and credible, which is so important. So thank you to Joe and to Bill. And then to Paul Train from Verizon, you know, I don't know how he does it because I feel doing working on like 10 licenses in a year or 12 or 15 He's working on about a hundred <laughs> all over the East coast and he would find time, you know, same day or the next day, the latest and always go back and forth. So there's a lot of uh, hard work and collaboration all the way around. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Bill. We appreciate your hard work on this and, and Bill Melville's as well. Um, the response out of, our, out of my office is, is simply a reflection of the cooperation I get from the board and from the staff here. So, um, that's not just, that's not a kudos to me. That's a kudos to our whole team. So thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. Great. They're closing the hearing, and then yeah, you can uh, close the hearing. You got about fifteen minutes before the regular meeting starts at seven o'clock. Uh, so you probably have to wait fifteen minutes to really get started. But right. um, you should you should have a motion to close the hearing and and do that. Okay. Shall I make a motion? Sure. I move that we uh, yes, close please. the hearing. <laughs> I move that we close the hearing. Do I have a second? second? Thank you. Rosie, Rosie seconds that. So we'll do a roll call. Any further discussion? We'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Darcy? Darcy Dale, aye. Rosie? Aye. Uh, and Jamie Newton? Jamie Newton, aye. And William Olson, aye. All right, so we're going to leave this Zoom open, correct, Joe? Yes, yeah, we, everything's we'll, on one Zoom meeting tonight. We're not, we didn't have two, we didn't create two Zoom accounts. So this is, you just uh, really can't start your agenda for another 12 minutes or so. 15 minutes, yeah. So uh, I, go have a quick, but. I, I do have a technical question. We are live on TV, so I can do one of two things. Um, is either quit Zoom and come back in or just leave the Zoom up? Yeah, I'm going to sign off. off, folks. Good night. Thanks, Bill. Have a good night. Good, night. Uh, good seeing you all. Take care. Be careful. You too. Thanks, Bill. Um, Bill Melville, I think that's I kind recommend. of you. <laughs> Bill, also go ahead. I all think right. we should just, uh, yeah, they, I think we'll just leave the Zoom up and everybody just put it on mute and turn their cameras off and we'll come back in. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Minutes. Just be aware that we might have a hot mic. So, and, yeah, thank, thanks, everyone. So, we shouldn't be yeah, talking please, about, please mute. about Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Later, later, later uh, when the meeting's over, what I'll do is I'll cut these in two separate meetings. But at this point, I'll just leave it on the air. 
right. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute and go uh, grab a bite to eat and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay. Thanks everybody.